I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Who did Cain marry? Well, this is one of the great classical questions of Scripture. And the reason is because if you take a literal view of Scripture, as I do, and hopefully you do as well, by the time you get to Genesis chapter 4, we discover that humanity is down, at least in name, to three people. There's Adam, there's Eve, there's obviously Cain. There was Abel, but unfortunately he died at the hands of his brother Cain. We know in chapter 4 that when he goes east of Nod, that he marries and he establishes a civilization. There are really two theories to the answer to this question. Theory number one is a non-literal of I guess, perspective, that Adam and Eve were representative of humanity and not actually the first human beings and individuals, so to speak. I would go contrary to that because in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, when it calls Christ Jesus the second Adam, the one who brings life, it speaks of the first Adam in the Garden of Eden. So I think the Bible speaks to a very literal view, which leaves us with a quandary. How can Cain marry somebody if there's nobody else to marry, much less a woman? Well, I think the answer lies in the genealogies of not just Genesis, but the entirety of Scripture. Every genealogy in the Old Testament, whether that's Genesis, whether that's Numbers, First and Second Chronicles, it doesn't matter where you go, there's not a single woman listed. And yet every man listed talks about the children and the grandchildren that they have. And we understand there had to be women involved there. And for many of those characters, we have the names of their wives in other passages of the story. I think the answer to the question is that he married his sister. Now, before we, we panic about that, a lot of the complications we have today uh, from, shall we say, the union of a brother and her sister or close cousins and the children and, and some of what the abnormal, abnormalities that they would have physically are really the byproduct of thousands of years of the sin condition that's been propagated through humanity. Remember, Adam and Eve were sinless. We're just years out of the Garden of Eden. And a lot of the physical or medical abnormalities that we know of today would not have existed. In fact, when you get into the book of Genesis before the flood, you have people living 900 plus years. So obviously, the fact that if they were sinned, they would experience death, Genesis 2.16, was not rooted as deep as it is today. So most likely, he married his sister before we think it's gross or before we think that it's medically improper, probably a little different situation, and there's never a woman listed in an Old Testament genealogy. Thanks for the question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.